Hello, everybody. This is Lenora. Yes, I'm the Love and Live show. So, I wanted to talk about joy. You need to have some joy. And how can you have joy in a world that is crazy? There's nothing about murder, racism, uh, rapist, just a lot of hate. How can you have joy in such a place like this? You have to be in a relationship with Yahweh. You have to be in a relationship with Yahweh to keep on moving, to keep on doing the things that you need to do. Joy is not one of those things that people can easily grab onto anymore because you know why? Because they don't. Because they're the, the life struggles of paying bills and going to work and taking oh. care of your kids and taking care of your family and all this other stuff that just goes on and on. It, it's a struggle out there. And so my thing is we have to just breathe and take time for ourselves. You can't do it any better than that. Take time for yourself. Enjoy yourself. That's the time. Don't tell my kids. Okay, you guys keep on acting up. Keep doing what you're doing. Because when I leave, I'm leaving y'all here. And I'm going to go to the beach on my own. Because you're not going to come messing with my mess, messing with my happiness now. So you guys either get it together, get yourself together, or you, your, your, your punishment will be sitting at home. Why? Guess where your mom going to be? And your dad? At the beach? You're going to be stuck here. And now I make sure I get somebody they don't want, you know, that's way overly strict, you know, old school strict. I like those, you know, they ain't, they ain't barely got no TV and they ain't, they ain't no Wi-Fi in the house. Everything just, they just don't. <laughs> they, it's just, the stuff just don't happen at their they house. And I love it, you know, and, and I always keep, you know, old school people around me because I love the things because they, they are consistent on it. Like me, I'm just tired. So I, they get consistent on it and I'll be like, yeah. And all I know is I tell them I'll go to the coast. I'm going to the um the river. I, I'm I'm going to the movies. See you. It's Tuesday, you know, it's five dollar Tuesday. And at our movie day it's five fifty, so I'm going by myself and they'd be like, You really leaving us? Yeah. You guys have been arguing and fighting. You trying to mess up my joy. I got to have some joy in my life. I got too much crazy stuff going on. And I would love to spend my time with you guys. But if you guys got to fuss and fight all day long, then y'all got to do that on your own. You find your own joy at your own time. This is my time. And so since I've been doing that, my kids have been really on it. Like they don't argue as much. They like, you know, they're more helpful around the house. They, they want to do stuff because I had to. And like I told them, I had to take care of me first. I have to take care of myself first. If I'm going to love you the way that you need to be loved, discipline you the right way, you know, mold you into the adults that I need you to become, I have to make sure that Queen Lenore is happy. And you have to understand Queen Lenore has to be happy. And then after I take care of Queen Lenore, I make sure King, my husband, is happy. And once we're happy together and we build that bond and that relationship, it pours over to our kids and they become great citizens of the world. And they understand. I'm like, because we love you, but if we're not happy, how's that going to happen? I got to make sure I'm happy. Then my husband got to be happy. He makes sure I'm happy. And then all the rest goes on to our kids and anybody else who comes around. So the, all the kids that we collect, because we do collect kids, for some reason they just come in. I, I guess we don't collect them. They collect us. They come around, and then all of a sudden we have them. And then we can show them love and understanding and, and structure and discipline. And, and so kids like to be around us. And I'm I'm crazy strict, you know. I'm like, I don't want you out because, you know, right now they're, you know, killing black people. Or they're always stopping black people. Or they're telling us to go back home. And, and they're doing all this stuff. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, this is ridiculous. And so I'm very, like, very strict on my kids because I want them to be um, very well in the community and have their own business and do their things. But also, the world's crazy. So I'm teaching my kids not to be prejudiced. And I'm teaching my kids not to be this way, but the world is doing it as well. And then I said, you know what? No matter what, you be happy with who you are and what, you, what you're about to become in this world. It doesn't matter what everybody else is doing. You treat people the way you want to be treated, not the way they treat you. So 
for you to be able to do that, you have to start with joy within yourself. And that's when I said, do people understand that to have joy within themselves, they have to have a relationship with Yahweh. So have a relationship with Yahweh. And then for people who don't believe in Yahweh, ask yourself, why don't you? Don't look at other people and say, that's why you don't believe in Yahweh. Because that's a cop-out. That's like other people saying you don't like watermelon, chicken, ice cream, cake, soda pop, um, peaches, grapes, cherries. That that doesn't make sense. Because you find out if you like it for yourself because you try it yourself. So try Yahweh. Like, find out. Because what made me say, hmm, out of all these different religions, there was two things that stood out. One was... Why don't nobody like Christianity? <laughs> that was the first one. Because I like if everybody don't like it, then it must be right. Because everybody follows the everything else. And everybody wants everybody to be happy no matter what the cost is to somebody else. Not me. And then my second one was the Ten Commandments is everything that my mom has raised me on. She told me I couldn't lie, don't steal, don't covet over somebody else. And she didn't say covet, but it's me, same thing. Don't be jealous of nobody. You know, um, you know, respect people. Take a day of rest. What a punishment is that? Don't work one whole day. Ooh. You know, there's all these different things that is going on in the world. And I'm like, that's how my mom raised me. So when I was younger, I tried Yahweh for myself because I was like, those two things never like clicked to me. You don't want to become a believer of Yahweh because of somebody else. But I could tell you a chocolate cake is nasty and you're going to do what? Eat a chocolate cake because you like chocolate cake. So try Yahweh for yourself. You know what I mean? But even if you don't, learn to find peace within yourself if you can without Yahweh. I don't know how you can, but if you can without Yahweh. And if you actually take the time to read the Bible and understand it, and people like to take the Bible out of context, so maybe you might have to go into the Hebrew language and, and really understand what the meaning of it is, because now they're saying, oh, it says be a slave and do this. It's talking about workers. And back in the day, they called it slavery. We the one change words. Think about it. Gay used to mean happy. Now it means being with the same sex they change words all the time so if you're taking the bible out of context because of what the, we, the words we're using now then that's on us and not on them sorry i'm gonna drop my phone so think about it doesn't make sense um what's another word they use um you know okay the rainbow means something totally different biblically but it's again for same sex relationships People change it. There's other things. So, I mean, my kids, they use the word Casanova and Diva. And no, it doesn't mean being a player or a pimp or anything like that. It means being a gentleman. You know, opening doors for women. You know, um, scooting in the chair, hold the chair out for a woman. Helping a woman out. You know, that's what it is. You can even help some a, a male out if you want to. Mm-hmm. And a Diva is being a young lady who is respectful. Wearing clothes, not showing, not being naked, being pleasant, being understanding, accepting that a man opens the door for you, or a young man, a young gentleman growing up opening the door for you. And Sorry. I'm telling you, people, every time I do this, people got something to say. But it's all these different things that we can do that we choose not to. So, like I said, you figure it out on your own. I mean, I'm not mad at anybody who don't believe in Yahweh. Mm-hmm. That's on you. I have to make sure. I do. And I walk in love. So I, I do that. And I make a lot of mistakes. I am nowhere near perfect. I'm nowhere near what they want me to be as a believer of y'all. Nope. Sorry. I'm not. That's why I don't even claim being a Christian anymore. Too many rules. Like, I'm following the Bible word. And when God tell me to stop doing it, I stop doing it. He tell me to sit down. Guess what? Quill and or sits her behind down. So there's times I argue with y'all. We'd be like, uh-uh, y'all, y'all, you take it too long to help me. I need, he say, sit down. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to sit down. So <laughs> it's like, you know, that's what I do. I have those disputes all the time. And my kids will tell you I'm not perfect at all. And I don't portray to be perfect at all. Do I? Uh, mm-mm, no. So she got bored, so she don't want to talk no more. But anyway, like I said, find joy within yourself. Remember to love and live each day as if it was your last. You're blessed. Thank you. Remember to love and live each day as if it were your last. You're blessed. You're loved. You're 
awesome. You are wonderful. Regardless if you believe in Yahweh or not, you are awesome. And you're created to be who you are, not to be anybody else. You are somebody important. And if nobody else tells you that, Queen Lenora did. Because you are. Have a blessed day.